Moving on, we would like to introduce you to the concept of WoDAO, the first decentralized autonomous organization for the AI community. I'm thrilled to introduce Ms. Hadao, CEO and co-founder of WoAI, co-organizer of this hackathon. Thomas Newbert, former GMDB AI Acceleration at Intel, founder of Transatlantic AI Exchange and co-organizer of this hackathon, as well as one of the core members of the DAO. Chris Burns, IP attorney, Web3 advisor, pioneer IP NFT legal frameworks for decentralized science. They all will discuss the vision and mission of WoDAO and how it aims to benefit AI community. Please give a warm virtual welcome to Ha, Thomas and Chris, who will be joining us today to discuss WoDAO and its mission. Good morning and good evening wherever you are and welcome to the opening ceremony of our AI hackathon for the WoWDAO. Allow me for a few minutes to introduce WoWDAO, the team, the vision and the purpose and why we are all here. So first of all, the WoWDAO is what we believe the first decentralized autonomous organization for the AI community. The WoWDAO itself is blockchain based and it's a full cycle ecosystem of all the AI inventions that's being developed within the realm of Web3 and blockchain that covers the entire innovation phase from building artificial intelligence and ML models and implementing them to commercializing them as intellectual property, non-fungible tokens. So this is going to be a community effort. And what we are trying to build and what we are envision is the WoW AI or the WoW DAO ecosystem. And it's being built over time in certain phases. In phase one, we are creating and building the hackathon. That's why we are here. And thank you all the hacker teams and the members and the judges and the mentors to uh, contribute to this uh, pretty big important effort. In phase one, we are going to announce the hackathon platform in itself. Everybody on this call obviously has signed up, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, but ultimately, this is just the beginning of the big vision that we have. The first one is let's build the hackathon platform, which we have, invite the potential members of the down as the participants uh, within the hackathon. That's phase one. We are starting it right now in the month of April and it will last until August. And then hopefully it will conclude uh, in the early September time frame. And hopefully we can celebrate that with a day and a half of an AI Web3 uh, conference that we are putting together here in California or Silicon Valley. So that's the, 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 the first phase. Uh, we are then in parallel starting the efforts of uh, crowdfunding the platform for the AI startups. And we will invite all the potential members to look into that potentially, as well as regular uh, investors that we are going to uh, get introduced. In parallel to organizing the hackathon, we are uh, reaching out to crowdfunding opportunities and to uh, individual investors so everybody is invited to contribute if you have somebody who has an interest please let us know but in general just to sum up this very complex picture here is we are trying to simply democratize ai and put the control of the ip into the hands of the individual developer so that they can actually get the gain over time which is the beauty of web3 and blockchain so with that in mind, we are going to use this ecosystem to uh, provide a data marketplace where things can be traded and sold and, and resold. We are creating an IP pool uh, of all AI innovations where the contribution of all members uh, will gain from the increased value cumulatively. And at the same time, we are going to have this ecosystem built for um, an entire developer ecosystem of developers where the developers can meet developers, the developers can meet marketplaces, investors can meet startups and so on. So that's the bigger vision 
of the wow DAO um, that we have in mind. With that, I, I would leave it with that, and I would like to bring it over to Chris, one of the founding members who will talk about the legal IP side as well. Thank you, Thomas. I'm excited to describe for everyone the intellectual property commons that we'll be using with WowDAO. I'm sure many in our audience are familiar with intellectual property commoning, be it through the use of open source licenses, creative commons, or perhaps some of you have even participated in the past in patent pooling. The intellectual property commons that WowDAO is developing is a first of its kind Web3 enabled IP commons run on intellectual property NFTs. We're thrilled to use an IP commons as a vehicle for WowDAO because it offers us both an opportunity to bring community together, to co-develop IP, and to ensure our participants in WowDAO have a freedom to operate while still preserving IP producers and those in the DAO creating their own IP commercial rights. We do this by pooling our IP and creating what is essentially a limited open access licensing framework. While enabling members of the DAO to share IP with each other, we restrict open access um, to only those inside the DAO. Those outside of the DAO are able to subscribe to our IP commons and IP pool. And we also allow piecemeal licensing um, for those who only want to utilize certain pieces of IP that the DAO creates. Web3 enabled IP commoning is one of the most promising forms of uh, use cases for Web3 technology that we have. Through this, we feel confident that we'll be able to really help further democratize AI and its development. I'll now turn it over to Ha. Thanks, Reese. So as a token holders, you can have several benefits. You can have a voice to shape the future of your own organization. You can govern uh, the organization and you can receive rewards for any single activity you are engaging with the ecosystem. You can receive the free access to all the necessary tools within the ecosystem and also the IP common pool for AI inventions. You can have early access to AI startups and most importantly, you will receive the profit sharing when the DAO has profits. And uh, after the hackathon, we welcome all the participants, including judges, mentors, contestants, and attendees to be initial members of the DAO by sharing the airdrop tokens to all the uh, participants. Uh, this is our overall roadmap right now. Actually, we started this um, mission from September last year, and so far we are wrapping up the legal um, paper, and uh, we are expecting to launch the DAO in Q3 this year, when we have the final um, conference of the Worldwide AI Hackathon along with the Web3 Summit. We will also have the IP Pool initial development in Q3, and the crowdfunding platform should be ready uh, after September so that top winners of the hackathon will be able to raise funds from the community by selling the intellectual property NFT to the community. And uh, we also expect to have the data marketplace to be built um, by the end of Q3 this year. And uh, in Q4, we expect to have the initial token distribution um, at the end of maybe at the end of the 2023. Yeah, so thank you everybody for um, listening to the introduction of the WowDAO. And uh, thank you on behalf of our core team, Chris, Ha, and myself, here on the call. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the ride. <laughs>